Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed the Cape Horn you can see here in the back. Look at this little rock I've been aiming at for a whole month now. It's a great relief. Now we can go home. Fifth passage for Jean-Pierre. Let's celebrate properly. The champagne's been cooling off for a month now. It may be a little wet, but hey. During the night, Jean-Pierre Dick finally crossed the Cape Horn six days and 18 hours after Armel Lecléage. Armel, who's been able to contain Alex Thompson's catching up. The Welsh got as close as 28 miles of the boat's transom, but today the Breton chap escaped the high-pressure bubble, caught some speed, and by the afternoon had widened the gap by 130 miles. Alex Thompson is now the one to be stuck without wind. Jack, chances of, of making a remarkable comeback uh, are quite slim, but, uh, but certainly to be this close is much better than being uh, 800 miles away. Sunrise by 58 degrees south. I think I had never been so far down south. It's freezing. Freezing cold. Water's at 3 degrees. It looks like the sun, like the sky, is bleeding. But I can tell you, it's really frozen. Jean is four miles five ahead of me. I'm going to try to show him to you. It may only be a dot on the horizon, but... The infernal and inseparable duet, Le Camelies, obviously well in shape, will cross the Cape Horn in the early evening. They hope to put some extra pressure on Jean-Pierre Dic while sailing up the Atlantic. 